Marlon asks, have I have you seen Bel Air, the um, miniseries? No, I've been meaning to watch it, but so many good shows have been coming out that I've been putting on the back burner. But that's definitely in the top five of things I want to watch because I loved Fresh Prince of Bel Air growing up. That was my show. I loved that show. That show was fucking awesome. That show was awesome. Let me do something here. One thing about that show that I loved was how it was so funny. But it was so real. And yes, I know that uh, that new Fresh Prince document docuseries is on the more serious side. That's what caught me off top. I was like, oh, that shit is dope, yo. But um, there were a couple times during Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where... Don't tell anybody. But I cried. Shut your bitch ass up! Don't tell anybody, but there are a couple of episodes in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where I cried. The first one was, let me see if I can pull this shit up here while I got my handy dandy laptop. Fresh Prince, uh, what? Dad scene, look, it's the one where his fucking dad comes and then his dad leaves. And then Will's like, I don't need you, man. I never needed you. And then he's like, I need you, man. Yes, that part um, really always got me. Uncle Phil was like the father that like, I thought, I was like, man, I wish I had an Uncle Phil. And then Hillary was always banging to me, her little cockeyed ass. Like Hillary had a cockeye, but she was still kind of sexy, right? Like Hillary can kind of get it. All right, let's see if I can play this without getting flagged. Lou, if you walk out of Will's life now, don't you ever come back. Sit down. I ain't got time for no lecture. I said sit down, Lou. All right, here we go. This is what Lou is about to walk out. You know, Will was doing just fine until you showed up. Uncle Phil and Lou about but to get it in. But now that you're back... You have responsibilities to him. Look, we're still gonna take the trip. Oh, bull! Bull! Will is not a coat that you hang in the closet then pick it up when you're ready to wear it. His life goes on. He's not supposed to be here for you. You're supposed to be here for him. You get off my back! You think I want this? It just happened! Now, when Will was a baby, I was scared. Oh, Cut was the crap, all right? Cut it! Because I've been there! But I didn't run out on my family. I was there every day for them because that's what a man does. Fine, Philip. You win. You the man. You a better man than me. You happy? Now, you gonna tell Will or not? I'm not gonna do your dirty work for you. Fine. Uh, I'll call him from the road. Yeah, then why don't you do that? Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, shit. What? Damn, Damn, Will just walked in. What's up? Will just walked in. It's about to get real, guys. So Will thinks he's going Will. on a trip with the Damn pops. It, I'm glad his you... pop was pumping up the um, trip and all that. You know, Will wants came to spend time happen. with his dad. So we you know what I mean? Put a, you guys uh, ready to... On hold. Baby, you cutting onions Yours. in there? Huh? All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing. You know what I'm Will saying? And I hope every father listens to this because this is what I used to do when I was a kid. When I was sad, I would make jokes about it. And, like, I would try to, like, ah, let's throw it off as a joke. And that's what a lot of com that's why some of the best comedians are, like, the most fucked up inside. Not saying that's me. I'm just saying, like, the, most, the best comedians are the ones who've been through the most shit because when shit goes down, they try to. 
they laugh it off. And that's what I used to do. So that's why I was like filling this whole scene right here. Cause you know, Will's like, ah, oh, hey, everything cool. Even though, you know, he shit was, you know, he's going through hell in his head. It's all right to be angry. Hey, why should I be mad? I'm saying at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I'm sorry, I, you know, if there was something that I Hey, you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him, right? Mm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? Ah. <sighs> Never fucking fails, huh? Alright. Never fails, man. When I see that scene, dog, like, I can't help but, like, cry a little bit. Uh, because men don't understand what they're doing when they leave their kids, bro. Like, if you're listening to me right now, and you're a father who's not in your kid's life, if you're a mother who's not in your kid's life, dude, get in their life before it's too late. Actually wasn't even expected on doing that, but damn, that's that's how real emotions are, man. And <sighs> and the part that hit was when he said, "Why doesn't he want me?" You know how many times I thought that in my life? You know how many kids out there with, with without a father think that? Because that's what you think as a kid. Like, why doesn't why doesn't he want me? You don't understand like everything behind it. You just want to, you, you just, you just, uh, you just want to know why does he not want me? Cause that's how you, that's how simple life is for you as a kid. You're like your mom and dad either want you or they don't. And if your dad's not coming around, then he probably doesn't want you. And like, you know how many kids have said that in their head? Why doesn't he want me? Huh. That's about as deep as it gets. Oh, that scene always gets me, man. That scene always gets me. Yeah, Marlon, you try to find humor in everything and some things you can't because it's too painful. And it's really painful, like, growing up without a pops. Like, all bullshit aside, all jokes aside, like... Like if you're if you're not in your kid's life, please get in their life. It's really hard to 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 be a man in this world with no male figure. It's so hard, and that's why these kids right now are running amok in the streets, dude. Like because they don't have any dads. Men are just putting their dicks in all these women, and then coming inside of them, and they get pregnant, and then for whatever reason, like. <sighs> Can you stop coming inside of, like, can you, like, ladies, can you stop letting deadbeat motherfuckers, like, come inside of you? Like, you're the end-all be-all. Like, I'm not blaming it on you totally, but you kind of have the upper hand. Like, stop letting deadbeat ass dudes with tattoos on their face and, and fucking all, all kind of shit that's red flags. Don't, stop letting these guys come inside of you, please. Like, can you, like, come on. If he already has, if he already has two baby mamas, do not let him coming do not you know what i'm boycotting if if he has if he has two or more baby mamas i know this is going to sound harsh but ladies boycott his ass don't give him any pussy don't give him any pussy mm. <clears throat> don't give him any pussy all right if he has two or more baby dad like boycott we ladies you need to start boycotting these niggas man we need to knock this off. Like, I feel like niggas didn't exist, like, 
80 years ago. Uh, and I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds crazy. But you guys know that. I, maybe you don't. But there was a time where 90-something percent of African-American couples stayed together. And then that all changed during the 50s. That's a whole other <laughs> alley we can go down. But that's, that's for another time. <laughs> For anyone who's tuning in and wondering why, who just tuned in and wondering why I'm, I'm sniffling and my eyes are all puffy, no, I didn't just do three lines of cocaine. I was watching a very emotional episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in honor of Will Smith smacking the shit out of Chris Rock, which I wouldn't have done, which I wouldn't have done. And I don't even understand it. I don't even understand it. If someone ever put their hands on my wife, oh, it's on cracking. Like that, like, but if someone makes a joke about my wife at a comedy club or a ceremony or something, no matter what it is, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do something like that. 